morning, everybody. Guess who it is? It's Stephanie, and I'm going to put my cursor over to the other side of the computer. So in case it goes black, I'm ready. All right, you guys, I got lots to share, but before I forget, look what mom got me. Yeah, the same, yes, same devotional that we had before so we get to repeat it which is going to be awesome okay guys a lot of things to talk about today um all right so um and first of all i'll just have to share how much i love this place even more every day because they actually pour in they fill up my iced coffee pot and put it in the fridge for me which is awesome because i think i told you guys the stories of when i tried to fill up the pot when i was at the other place and got yelled at so anyway it's great um also okay guys uh i'll tell this story and then tell the other little quick uh sticky notes see guys that's what that means we have a lot. Okay, so, oh yes, I forgot to tell you guys. Okay, so I'll start with, okay, somebody got fired because of me. Um, so anyway, what happened, well, and first of all, to be honest with you guys, I wasn't honest when I said that my, um, that the first the lady got fired. I'm sorry for that. Um, I think because it helped my story. Uh, so anyways, uh, but the police had to, and make it talk to the supervisor here so I did um but I had to be honest with you guys about that so this time it really happened okay so what happens because of my running um I'm I have to eat all the time and so what happens is I just say can you guys save food for me you know whether it's a running day or I have errands so that's what they do without any problems and it's awesome because the other place would throw it away because they weren't supposed to save it or whatever so anyway so what happened was um, the one person that normally does save my breakfast and i did tell her that uh and again it was the day after my long run so i'm extra hungry so i ate some cereal that was the second meal i had eaten because when i get up really early i had my peanut butter toast and jelly um but i'm still hungry of course because i'm burning so many calories so i that's why i made sure to ask her to save me breakfast she saw me eating cereal and assumed i didn't want my breakfast so when I got home and I was really hungry I was like where's my breakfast I don't know usually they have it in the microwave and it wasn't there she's like I threw it away because and I was like she's like I saw you eating cereal that's when I got really upset because I was like <gasps> and she's like you eat all the time nobody else eats as much as you you know and I'm explaining I'm a runner but thankfully the other the um, yeah, not the owner, but the next boss down was in the um, other room where the office is and heard this and came out and she's like, um, I heard her ask you to save, you know, breakfast. And um, she's like, well, I saw her eat cereal. And she's like, that doesn't change the fact that she wanted you to save her breakfast. And then uh, Mickey, that's who it was, was like yelling and cussing. Um, so that I didn't even realize she was getting fired until I heard the boss call her into the office. Also, she was talking on the phone about me she talks on the phone a lot and we can always hear the personal details of her life and whatever and i think she should talk outside because she was talking bad about me and saying oh this girl you know who she hates cereal and just getting who she's on the phone you know on her side um when so anyway i was like i even said that to the boss i'm like she's even talking about me and she's like don't worry about it she just said just forget it then i went in my room and then as I was, you know, um, anyway, so then I saw her ask the, um, yes, ask Mickey to come over and sign something, and I was, like, overhearing this, and I found out she's, like, I'm not gonna sign it, um, I saw her eating cereal, so I know it was about me that she got fired, I guess just because she said she would save it and didn't, and I need that food, and so anyways, uh, she got fired, and, like, came back in 
in ye yelling two times. And the last time she came back in, she, because she had to get, get, leave the keys, she was like, thanks a lot. And everyone else thinks it's my fault because I'm eating cereal. And that's what everyone saw when nobody knows that how often I need to eat with my running. So anyway, I was just glad the boss was there uh, because if I had tried to I'd probably make my case without, you know, her there. So anyway, it was a t total god thing that she was and overheard and she was yelling at me. You know, it's one thing if, as you know, one of the residents is yelling, but you're never supposed to raise your voice at them. And she was constantly doing that when she would have, um, like, arguments and so that's what I liked about the boss and she's like first of all you guys don't need to be yelling and that's when I stopped um so anyways um but I found out it's not just because of what happened with the breakfast because I overheard the boss explaining that she also was lazy and sat around a lot and I guess she had seen that she had been on the phone so mom was like that's probably you know all of those reasons so anyways um but it was cool that she's not around anymore. She would even like yell at me in the mornings and tell me to clean up my messes. When I always clean up. I am so good about cleaning down the counters after I make a meal because I used to do that everywhere I've lived. Um, so anyway, so I told her, uh, you know, I do that because I make toast in the morning and I always make sure it's cleaned up. But she's like, well, somebody's doing it. And so anyway, so I'll, I'm glad she left so all right okay awesome <laughs> this can be a long video I have lots of stories to tell but okay so so all right so a speech teeter okay guys I have a problem if I get cold at all when I'm trying to sleep I can't sleep even if I have a lot of blankets on and that at the other um, place I had my space heater in my room you know and used that all the time even though everyone else walked in there and it's like oh it's hot in here well for me I I can't sleep if I'm freezing and it sometimes takes a long time for the blankets to get warm enough so anyways I've been using my space heater and then came here and found out that um that they you can't have one and I was like crap so I, I was getting ready to throw my space heater away with all the other trash I was throwing out when I first moved in and so but then I was like wait a minute I can hide it here so I was I kept it under my bed and just you know pulled it out when nobody was gonna walk in my room or whatever so um, I had been doing this and then, oh yeah, one day I fell asleep during one of my naps and it got really hot and I should have turned it off, but somebody opened the drawer and was like, oh, it's so hot and then they found out that I had it. So, um, so uh, the boss took it and was like, can your mom come pick it up or whatever? I was like, sure, you know, I don't know when she's going to be back. So I didn't. You know, so I found out it was sitting over on the side where they put like, um, anyways, I saw it and I'm like, I can do it again. But this time I'll use it like just at night and then hide it under the other bed. Okay, guys, terrible plan. So I had it out the other night and sure enough, they come into my room and they're like, um, the fire, fire, uh, firefighters are coming um, because it, they, they smelled smoke and I was like, what is it, you know? And they, yes, one o'clock in the morning, everyone had to go outside and then the firefighters came in and were like, oh yeah, it's the space heater. I was like, shit. So yes, no more space heater. But what I do now to warm up my room is when it's the heat of the day, I open the windows and let in the hot air and then I close the windows and actually the last couple nights I haven't been freezing so anyways <laughs> but at least the firefighters were good looking you know um but it, yeah I knew that's what it was gonna be so okay that story okay uh also you guys know I was ordering stuff on Walgreens to sell but my mom's like you know you should buy, get stuff that you actually need. And I'm so excited because I was looking through, because it's made for the elderly, you know. 
And so I was looking through the catalog and they have, okay, so first of all, I'm missing two of my big toenails from my big toes. Um, and they hurt so bad if anything touches them, like so raw. And that happened a couple of times when I was hanging out with Connor and I was like, you know, what can I put on there that actually cushions it? But I didn't have anything. Um, so I was like, you know what? Um, you know, see if they have anything on the Walgreens catalog. And sure enough, they have like three kinds of things. So first of all, they have these mohair um, sticky things that you can put on. And I was like, yes. And then also these toe protectors that actually is like, surrounds your toe um and i can use that while i'm sleeping but i found out how to keep it from hurting too much when i'm sleeping by putting the my whole toe on the soft blanket but anyways i think during the day is when i'm gonna want those so that was great because somebody had recommended mole hair when i was hitting my um ankle with my shoe um while i was running and so but i haven't done that anymore but anyways that's awesome okay oh yes okay so on my way to so i started running at a different park called garden of the gods um and it's like three mile run from my place because Marcy, my crazy runner friend, was like, oh yeah, you know, there's lots of trails when I told her where I was living. And then I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'll do my long runs there, you know, no problem. But it turned out that that was actually a very hard thing to do, especially to add miles because it takes like over three miles just to get to the park. And when I get there, it's like I run out of trail really easily. And then you have to be on the road. And if you haven't been there, it's a one way streets and there is crazy traffic zooming right by you and you're trying to you know run in the bike lane so i was like okay um so i ran there a couple of times but so this is what happened the last time i was gonna run there i thought on sundays i don't have to worry about taking the bus so i can take all day you know but uh so the last so when you're walking or actually running so there's a running path um, that leads to Garden of the Gods that you have to stay on and I found you just have to make a turn almost at the very beginning of the trail and I missed my run miss a turn and was ended up in God knows where I was like so during that run I was on the side of the road and again that's why I love running the trails because you're not on that so I'm there's no space on the side of the road so I'm running and there's a big pothole and I bite it and hit and hurt my knees ankles hands everything uh and I hadn't fallen in a while and I hadn't even made it to the park and it took me it was four uh, four mile detour to get to the park from there and I was like oh my gosh so I had fallen I wasn't even at the park and I'm like screw this I'm not gonna I'm gonna end my day you know but then I use my mapping system I always pick it up ways is what I use to find Garden of the Gods Nature Center so I ended up coming around and I was like okay but now I'm already exhausted emotionally and I'm like I'm not even at the park so I tried to run and then I ran out of energy and I always walk back from Garden of the Gods so anyways um so that was a hard day so that's why I was gonna start running in Bear Creek Park again so um okay so Walgreens stuff okay oh yeah okay so oh yeah but so now what I'm doing for my running plan is okay so I ran, so there's two different places to run at Garden of the Gods, I mean, <laughs> at Bear Creek Park. Um, and first of all, it is a dog park, and I did step in some dog poop while I was running yesterday, which is a first, even though I've run there a bunch. So anyways, but I found, first of all, I found that there are bathrooms because of the dog park. And you guys, I, you don't even, well, you probably do because, you know, when you're running and you, sometimes it makes your bowels all liquidy. And my bowels were kind of like that when I got here the other day. And I run through the part of the dog park because when I get off 
the bus that's right where it is so i was running through the dog park and i was like what there's a bathroom yes so now Bear Creek is my favorite place to run. So what happened at Bear Creek Park with my running is I did get up to 13 miles one day actually running because I, you know, when I was at Garden of the Gods, I counted my 15 miles as running because I was walking in. But that's not honest. And if I want to run this whole race, you know, because the last one I walked most of it. And so anyways, this one I'm going to run the whole thing. And so there's two places on the park. The first one, the top part is really difficult up and down hills. And it's like just very steep hills and then down and up. So the nice thing about the part where it's training on that I got the 30 miles of that time is it's so, it's the easiest trail to run because there's only like one, one steep hill. And so I, so I was like, you know what, because I know I'm just, got to start at five miles I decided to add one mile a week so I wouldn't be like okay today I need to run 13 miles because I ran at one time you know I was like wait I only made it five miles on the hard track the week before before it stopped so I'm like so I got excited because I'm like if I just have and my guys my pace for running trails were five miles in two hours that's slow okay guys so slow like so slow um and so i was like oh man so but this time then that was on the hard part of the trail so i'm like i wonder since i just have six miles put in if i can run fast and i did guys i got 20 minute miles for six miles that was amazing so the other one was like i don't know 30 minute miles or something so it was so encouraging and I was able to like run really fast my last mile just like I used to do with road running that was my favorite thing to do so and I ended and I wasn't like so winded because it did only it didn't take me very long and now I'm like I can do this pace easily adding one mile on a week so you know I was very excited because usually if I'm mentally preparing for long run I go really slow but again that was at the other part of the trail so that is awesome guys so I think you know I'll definitely because it's hard when you take such a long time to get your run long runs done because I have to take the bus home and that so but I also take the first bus to get to the trail at like I leave at 6.30 in the morning and then get there just before 8, which gives me so much time. And so that was so encouraging yesterday when I ran. Okay. Okay, did I say, okay, I started in with a new counselor, a counselor I, so I had my counselor I loved, um, oh my gosh, I loved her, my family's been using her for years, but when I got Medicare, uh, she doesn't expect accept that so finally got a counselor through my insurance um and I, so i met with him yesterday and he's like okay first of all you know i shared all the my story and that and he's like okay because he's not somebody that can see people more than like six once every six oh four to six weeks and i need to have someone meet with me more and so he's like gave me these people's names women and i was like great because i was kind of you know i'm like if it needs to be a male that's fine but it's a woman that specializes in uh, sexual abuse for women and she does emdr that my other counselor used to do so anyways that was great i felt like i was doing something you know good for myself Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Also, my bladder. Okay, I can take off those. All right. Um, and my bladder, you guys, the treatment must have just taken a little while because I am like symptom free with my um, neurogenic bladder. And so it's amazing, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So now I'm getting that treatment um, like every year or whatever so anyways i'm back on the once every six weeks to sit for 30 minutes um but it's the easiest time you just 
kick back on, on Facebook or whatever. It goes by so fast, but it's awesome. I have this thing that's actually working. So, um, let's see. Also, okay. oh yes. And so did I tell you guys Connor's here? Okay. I, I don't know if I did or not, but, uh, he came out to visit my mom and dad um and so they just drove him here i don't know how long he's gonna be here but mom brought him down from pueblo uh, to have special time with me and connor um and we went to walmart together and just that was awesome and mcdonald's for dinner and so now mom told me that actually he's gonna be here for one of my um appointments leading up to um, or maybe it is one of the treatments. Anyways, it's in July now, um, and it's awesome because Connor and I, uh, is, is, we get to stay in a hotel like we do, and his mom found out it's a really nice hotel, and we get, it's a pool and a jacuzzi, and so I get to play with Connor in the pool, and that's, mom loves pools, like, she, she could probably be a dolphin. Uh, anyway, so the fact that, yes, we get special time I get with Connor is going to be amazing. So, okay. Okay, what else was I going to say? Okay, now I can get to this. Okay, started counseling. I already have that. Okay, Connor is here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think, though, okay, yeah. I thought he and I were going to go to the zoo. But I don't know. Anyways, I got to talk to my mom because I think we were still going to get together, Connor and I, this weekend and mom and go to the zoo too, I think. Yes, I think we get two visits together. Um, so the, the nostalgic thing about taking Connor to the zoo with just me and mom um, is precious because the last time... It was just us going to the zoo. Well, we had Juniper, and it was in the Rochester Zoo, and it was so precious because that's when Con Connor came the next day. So I was, like, in pre-labor when I, yes, with Connor. So just that was such a precious day that God provided for us. Um, so, um, so just, like, yeah, so really cool. So hopefully we get to go to the zoo this weekend, me and Connor and mom, and then get to go to the hotel. Yes, I'm sure that's how it's working. Okay. So, okay. Oh, um, the, sorry, the check is, is on its way in the mail to my mom right now because, um, for the accident so we are very excited that means we I get to go visit the kids really soon again so whoop whoop and okay my mom is applying for custody for me um so yeah I know we'll have to go to court and stuff I don't know the process totally um but okay okay I set that up ready okay I think that is everything all caught up. So, oh yeah, worship song. So don't forget, okay, Amanda Cook, um, Peace Heavens. And now we finally get to read this devotional. Okay, already talked about that. Okay. So now we're going to do chapter one. Well, not the whole chapter but to remind you, as love heals through creation. And there's always a poem at the beginning, so I'll just do that today. Oops, and you went black. Okay. God's green earth. There are days when hillside blush, hillsides blush in tenderness, and moments when valleys are unshadowed. There are seasons when streams roll with justice and all creation blooms where it is planted. There are times when we feel God's pulse through lapping waves, clapping trees, and the woodpecker's happy drumming. There are mornings when we feel the sunrise like warm tea on the backs of our throats. 
there are, are spaces when even weeds and crawly things call to us, call us back to grace. That is when our hearts sing hallelujah and praise God's greener. Okay, now you guys are all caught up. I'll talk when I have more to say. Oh yeah, have blessed days. Oh wait, I gotta make sure and hit stop. Have blessed